Hello everybody, it's David Startouch, founder of Survivor to Hero. You can call me Dr. Startouch if you like. I do have a PhD, but not in Star Citizen. Uh, <laughs> let's get started. Today I'm going to show you my favorite settings for Star Citizen and get you uh, hopefully started as, as the beginners. And then I'll be doing another video on these joystick. So uh, let's get you started. Star Citizen's already open for me, and I do apologize for the uh, getting set up video where I wasn't looking at the right camera. This is a uh, new 4K webcam I have, and the picture's so good, I thought I was talking to my Sony ZV-1. So, wow. Thank you, Nexigo Iris. Okay, so uh, before we get started, before we, uh, we're not gonna do any of this yet. We're just gonna go into options, and I'm gonna change my graphics to borderless or windowed. Now borderless lets me tab out really easily and not have the the screen just glitch or you know get stuck. So uh, I can still hear the music, things that are going on if I want to. And we'll come to any of those settings later, but we're gonna start with the beginning. Now these game settings I find really kind of help. I really think they should be on by default, but they're not. So uh, let's turn vibration off in case you're using a controller because that's a little distracting. And uh, hints, that's fine. If you're getting start, if you're new, I'm gonna just turn them off. Um, not a big deal here. The main thing we wanna turn on is space break using throttle. So you can just scroll down here until you see, um, oops, wrong one. And space break engines boost. So we're gonna start at the top and it's gonna be down here under flight and right when you hit pilot ESP, you're gone just a little too far. So space brake engines boost, turn that to yes. That way when you hit your space brake, it's gonna use some of your boost to help stop you because if you're hitting space brake, it's like the handbrake, but we'll also wanna kick in that afterburner to kind of help you stop. Uh, all right, so then we're gonna just keep scrolling down until we, you see the word fixed right here, S vehicles, Spaceship weapons, gimbal mode, default. Now, um, if you set it to auto, the gimbal is automatically active. If you set it to manual, then it's like in the target mode. Uh, fixed is just using your weapons like f fixed weapons. So if you're running fixed, get rid of the gimbals. Uh, that means if you're using like a gimbaled size two and you wanna run fixed, then just get size three hard points, uh, size three weapons. Otherwise, if you want the benefit of that auto aim for the gimbals, go to auto and it'll give you some aim assist. Uh, in Arena Commander, it did not work for me. I am much better at fixed than I am uh, with gimbal, but with mouse, I am told it does actually help a lot. Okay, uh, that's the. those are the key things here. Now we're gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom too to just add a couple more things I find a little helpful. Mo oh, <laughs> actually very important, global camera shake. Turn this to zero. Otherwise, when you're piloting and someone else fires a big cannon, the whole screen shakes and it's very difficult to fly. Um, that's cool for you know some immersion, but until you really get the handle on things, leave that off. Uh, <laughs> And then if you want some more immersion to kind of shake your screen, it's cool, but uh, it's very distracting. All right, so uh, everything else is pretty much good here. I do show friendly nameplates on, and I show neutral and hostile uh, contact nameplates on. Some people don't. It's not a big deal. Uh, whatever works best for you. So when we're running a 4K screen here on... This is a Samsung Odyssey G7. It's got a good contrast. So uh, feel free to play with the contrast first, then tweak gamma and brightness. But that's what I found is play with contrast first. Again, borderless. Uh, that way you can alt tab to Discord without any like screen on blacking out or anything like that. Uh, set everything to medium or high. Medium or high is going to use your graphics card. Low is gonna try to use your CPU and not really use your graphics card that much. So um, I usually set quality to high or very high, scattered objects to medium, um, and on the 3070, uh, on the content creation machine, everything's just high. So otherwise, I'd say, yeah, Orison, never, never high volume clouds. Uh, that's just harsh. Uh, field of view. 
Now, the eye sees 120, 150 and 120. This is a crazy fisheye effect if you go that high to the point where if you turn, it can throw you off. Sure, you can see a little more, but your center of vision is only accurate to about a softball, which is actually how the eye works. Uh, my PhD has a concentration of philosophy and cognitive neuroscience, so I kind of get nerdy about that. You'll probably want it best around um, no more than 108 if you're running on an ultra wide, but I would say just leave it as your, uh, what are the defaults here? Um, 86, uh, I don't think that was right. Uh, I like it in the 90s, but we'll see if it is actually 86. I need to reset again. Uh, I don't think the reset's working. Interesting. I am on 318, so whatever. I, 90, 94, uh, just less than 100 and you're pretty good to get a nice good field of view and um yeah it kind of it feels real natural all right so camera blur motion blur um some people turn this to off i leave it on when i'm doing film i turn it off when i'm not recording uh, i like crystal clear images uh but it's got that cinematography effect if it's on so i do more recording on this so Anyway, V-Sync, yes, usually. Do not have V-Sync on here and on your graphics card, your NVIDIA settings. If you have them both on, mm, not so great. Tell it to do application controlled V-Sync if you have NVIDIA. Not sure what the AMD setting is. Uh, sharpening, I just leave it as is. Uh, same with chromatic aberration. I turn film grain off, but that's all personal preference. Then we've got the audio, global camera shake, audio driven camera shake strength now you could turn this down and i think the global's already done fix that but uh if you use speakers headphones set appropriately and uh <laughs> you probably want to turn the, the some of the music down or the sound effects down depending if you're having discord conversations so again fill out your your situations in controls if you have a throttle reverse issue go to inverse settings uh, and then on the bottom right here uh, see where it says mouse we're going to go over to joystick one and then uh, this is for joystick people who have the throttle issue inverse settings then go to flight so we're controls inverse flight flight movement and then you're going to go to this strafe forward and backward and mark it yes most common confusion thing um I don't know why they don't fix that if it happens to most people, but they do get to this stuff last. All right, so now if you're using joystick, uh, I usually go to the mouse, flight, and then flight movement, and I, dr I pull this all the way down. Um, pitch and yaw, I do not want my mouse moving me around when I'm using a joystick. If I bump it or I'm not thinking because I'm terrible with the mouse, now I don't have to worry about the mouse moving around, uh, moving the ship around. I still do have the uh, the the on foot settings and the look around settings. I didn't change those. I only changed flight movement. All right. So then we're gonna kick into key bindings for a second. With the new changes, uh, they added a uh, see F three is blank here. They added a ability to contract control, big quality of life. So since F3 is blank, most people I know just set it to that. So going to your, uh, oops, backed out too far here, key bindings, make sure you're on keyboard and mouse, advanced, and then we're gonna go down to flight movement. From here, set to, at the very bottom here, request landing, and, oh, wow, let, did they, that's new. This is, uh, all right, we're just going to do F3. Oops. Uh, try Alt F3. Um, radar ping active. Control left tab. That is something that's very strange. Um, 
Okay, let's try one more time if I hit the function key. There we go. All right. So I guess they put it on the Alt N something. That's interesting. Uh, F3 is what most people had set it on, but uh, if they're doing that now, let's uh, just reset to this default image. Um, oh. <laughs> All right. Uh, so we're just going to reset to defaults here. Reset the keyboard. Load. And... Here we go. It is set for left alt and N. So that is alt N. Hmm. Now I'm going to keep buying it as F3 uh, just because then I only have to hit one key. All right. So uh, let's go through and change the rest of the settings that I really do like. Vehicles and targeting. Um, into remote turret, I do shift one, shift two, shift three. And this is so it is really easy to get into a remote turret. Like in the Scorpius, just bam. You know, if you get kicked out, bam, shift one uh, with the left hand. It's very handy. Uh, now, so under, now we have to fix the pin here. Uh, change these. We're going to get rid of one, two, and three. And we're going to make this control one, two, and three. Control one. Uh, Control two, ignore this inter remote turret. It's thinking the one is already selected, or shift one is selected. All right, so there we go. Uh, oops, missed that one. Control three. All right, so now we can still pin targets if we want to. Uh, left alt one, two, three will um, pin unpin, and control will uh, lock pin unpin. If you don't know what those are, don't worry about it. Look it up if you're interested. And yeah, now we'll go down to why we deleted those one, twos, and threes. Uh, okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to the power management. And this is super, super helpful. So are you keyboard uh, or um, joystick people who don't have their powers matched that map to the joystick? This is super great. Uh, or right hand or six. All right, I'm babbling. S set weapons to max. We're going to set this to one. Then I do shields, then I do engines. So we'll go down to shields to max and set that to two. And then we'll do engines to max and set that to three. And then at the very bottom, we'll set reset assignments to four. Now that was F8. So that means F8 is available for you to use. Um, then we've got F7. You can delete instead of you know, that just individually does it if you want to tap it or you can just delete it and you're good. Uh, got Then you have F5, 6, 7, 8 available if you choose to delete them. I'm going to leave them for now so you can make your decision, but just remember F or just number, number four is your reset shields. The other thing I like to do is I reset my shield levels to number four. And um, here's because I don't have an umpad but uh, I do assign these on my joystick. Now, if you're gonna use the keyboard and you don't have, so here's what, um, this is where I'm uh, just gonna save this real quick. So we have these settings here. We're gonna call this, uh, do, 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 do. this is the keyboard. Uh, let's make it smaller. Keys and then 318 and STH. Survivor to Hero. All right. Uh, so now we know where it comes from. All right. So keys 318 STH. Now I'm going to make my other change that this is my personal style. I'm going to go to, uh, do, do, do. I'm going to get rid of those five, six, and F7. And then I've got F8 available too. So, uh, but I do like to have my shields reset when I reset my power. So I set that to number four. Now, when I'm in combat and someone jousts me, or if I'm in the Carrick and landing on uh, a place where there is a, a bunker and a, a gun that's going to shoot at me and I have size A military shields, then I put all power to front. So for me, that's going to be F5. And that is going to put all power to front. It is not going to blow up my ship if it's just that those turrets hitting that front shield. If someone's jousting me, all power to front shields. Now, once they're behind me, my shields are out of balance. 
So I'm vulnerable until the re shield resets. Now, if I'm running away, same thing. We're going to set this to F6. So this lets me raise the back shield, and I just have to, I have to keep tapping these to get them where I want. Um, now, I left, I do, don't usually use this very often, F7, and then uh, right's F8. So here's the, the case, use case scenario for this. I'm flying the hammerhead, and I'm the pilot. I have missiles, but I'm gonna let my co-pilot fire the missiles because I'm gonna focus on just making sure my gunners have a good shot. Now, that means the shield is gonna be taking damage in different directions. So I'm also gonna be rotating and moving the ship around, and this lets me put the shields where I'm getting the most hits right now. That way, uh, the top and the bottom, uh, I have to just be very careful on that one, but if I'm getting a hammerhead very hit really hard, that's where it'd be great to have the, one of these assigned, and I don't right now. So let's, uh, hmm. Control Alt and F5. Nope, it doesn't like me. <laughs> All right, so uh, we'll just leave those as they are. But uh, that's the use case scenario. It works great if you're in a um, a Herc, a Hercules, uh, or any you know size three. Very helpful if you're in the um, in an Adro uh, Connie or a 600i. 600i is two size threes. The Connie's got a size three as well as the 400i. So again, if you're going straight on, and the Andromeda is really where this is most appropriate, just pump up the shields to max if you're charging, and that full power to weapons, uh, they'll be pretty darn dangerous. Now, just remember, you're gonna have to blow by them in a joust-like fashion and rebalance your shields uh, if you're not so great on the turning. Uh, but you can always decouple and do a cool maneuver around there. Keep your guns on them if you're uh, a fancy flying pilot. All right, and that's pretty much it I've got right there. I'm going to just uh, let you set your shield settings how you like, but uh, we've got the presets that I use right there. All right, I hope uh, these are my favorite settings to kind of get started. I uh, hope they're helpful to you too. Oh, last little note here, uh, comms. If you do not want your your comms coming through, just select one that isn't working. So line in, I do not use my line in for real tech. I am using my Elgato Wave or I'm using the NVIDIA noise canceling, which is somewhere in here. There we go, broadcast. And that's gonna use my mic. Mute microphone, yes, that should also mute it. And then uh, voice activated transmission with mute microphone, no, and for if I set my NVIDIA, now everyone can hear everything I'm saying. So that's pro uh, basically proximity comms is on when that's going on. Uh, and yeah, I, I believe, yeah, that I'm hoping it's just proximity. Otherwise, it's going to be really annoying to everybody. Um, yeah, so that's it. Uh, all you really need to know. Uh, oh, face camera. This is going to use my... Uh, camera up here, and again, it's really high resolution, so probably pretty cool if it wants to try to read the lips and things. I am don't really like or use that feature. I don't think it's developed very well. All right, so uh, in, we're just going to set it to operation default just in case I want to. Voice activated is on, and I'm not muting. Um, I'll mute just, just for fun. Okay, and we are all set. Uh... Have a great day. This is David, StarTouch founder of Survivor Hero. You can download that key binding on our website under the Star Citizen Project. Bye.